got to press on. See the light. Let's get going. Who says? All right. I don't know if it can help him with his memories. But yeah, my, my suspicion is his wife died. He needed help. He needed help forgetting about his wife. And yeah. Ah, you are wise. They are priests, not pirates. Catch the clicker, Boo. Oh, Boo's not even here. We need to fix that. Grief key. Yeah, I'll be Who taking this. Let's move. Become our friend. Here goes nothing. An application form inviting members of the public to become a friend of the House of Grief. Several tiers of donations are outlined in return for benefits, such as having your name listed in the thanks section of their next publication. Bespoke comic tonics, a plaque in your honor, and even complimentary sessions. To be unburdened of your woes, the amounts of gold start modestly, but soon climb it to staggering amounts. Oh boy. Client list. Ulrich Wormmirth. Melancholy Heart. Paid in full and referred for underbur unburdening. Elvir Sunbury. Craven Heart. Paid in full, then backed out. Partial refund. Ludra Crops. Jealous Heart. Paid in full and referred for unburdening. Jackal of Iron Thumbs. Praying Prying Heart. Prying Heart. Paid in full. Had an adverse reaction to the mapping of the heart and fled. No refund. Marco Kren, possible false name. Curious sort, not local, by accent. Black hair, pale complexion, prying heart. Paid in full with unknown gold currency and was referred for unburdening but fled. Note, Mother V has ordered that we seek out this Marco Kren, if possible, during his mapping. We, she detected thoughts and memories of strange lands and unfamiliar people. Fixation on a sword, or possibly Zord? Mother V's interest was piqued. She wants that mind. Update, the trail has gone cold. It's as if he vanished entirely. Cleona Frostly. Violent Heart, paid in full and referred for unburdening. Arvis Silvermount, Melancholy Heart, paid in full and referred for unburdening. Hmm. Security Guidelines. From the quill of Mother Superior, Lady Shara's sacred halls must be defended at all costs. Ensure that all who are assigned to guard duty or service in the House of Grief are aware of correct protocol. Secrecy is our first and best defense. The House of Grief is more than a facade. It is a shield. Maintain it as if your life depends on it, for it does. A hidden passage leading down downwards must remain sealed unless indicated otherwise in my on my authority. They have this this in writing just laying out there on the desk open for all to see. Should foes penetrate the lower levels, the main hall before the chamber of loss shall be our final redoubt. If all else fails, destroying anything that may be of use to Lady Shar's foes. Perver preserve, preserve her secrets. Preserve 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 her secrets. Do not allow yourself to be captured. Take poison, fall on your blade, swallow your tongue. Do not betray the Dark Lady. Yeah, yeah, Should yeah. Mind my step. Cloister budget. A detailed budget breaks down the cloister's income and expenditure. In one column are listed items such as donations, book sales, and profits of, from sales of memories. The next column includes supplies, bribes, and informer fees, poisons, and rare substances more. Next to one poultry offering in the income column, an angry note be added in a script. The dark church cannot thrive on scrum crumbs. Unacceptable. The dark la lady's church cannot be cannot thrive on crumbs. Do not do better or be replaced. Forging success. A self-help uh, volume purporting to help those prone to dis to deceit and sincerity. Let us be plainly, my re plainly, dear reader. You may believe deception to be an, an art form, one that benefits you more than it harms you. But this is the worst lie of all, the self-deception that, that shall one day be your ruin. But how can you break the cycle? It can prove difficult to speak the truth when lies come so easily. Instead, perhaps do not speak at all. If you cannot be honest, then at least you can be silent. The book continues on at great length, suggesting treatments pioneered by the House of Grief I may help, should self-improvement fail. Life is simple. Asterion can't so help but collect things art to sell he just loves those kind of things no one back sell the art sell the this. art what a day a little souvenir 
Yes, exactly. A souvenir of the memorable time we spend in Shar's temple. No, never mind. Inner peace, the path to perfection. Moving ahead. Valerian flowers. Let's go. The carafe of wine. Carafe of wine. Sword at my side and hamster at hand. Can't give up now. The surprising habits of Karaturian warlords. See. Curious self-help tome that claims to help those who have disappointed their elders. It seems to have been hastily printed and bound and strikes an oddly harsh tone. Alas, poor reader, not everyone can improve themselves without the help of others. Some need the instruction of an elder, a steadying authoritative hand that can mete out guidance and discipline in equal measures. Honor your readers, dear your elders, dear reader, being mindful of their lessons, deferential to their desires, and grateful for their discipline. Be of service to them, even when you think you are at odds with them. The book drones on, dispensing suspect advice that advocates for utter obedience before imploring the reader to seek further help at the House of Grief. Yep, well. Don't mind if I do. Bixaroot. Poppy flowers. I'm, think I'm thinking that there must be some sort of, like, flower shop here somewhere. Or a garden. Here we go. Home and gardens, like, shop. Because they have shops for everything, it seems. Light on my feet. Okay. Are you going to be okay, sir? Very well. I think I should be quite happy living in a tree. Greenery and birdsong all around. Is there anyone you can go to? There must be. You would think... You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Oh, it will come back to me. Or not. All right. Well, hopefully he won't start. He won't forget to eat and just stay here and starve. That would be ridiculously tragic. He seems like a nice man. Daughter of Darkness. Shadowheart did decided to end her parents' suffering by putting them to rest and entrusting their spirits to the care of Salune. Now they are at peace, and she is free of Shar's influence, free of her past. She can choose her own path at last. Bravo! Such a good companion quest. Bravo. We defeated Baconia and her Sharn cultists. The people of Baldur's Gate are now safe from, safe from her schemes. Exactly. So now we just have to help Help. We have to help um, Will and Carlac and Lysel, and then I mean Gale is going to be last. Claim the crown, the crown of Carsis. That's going to be end game. All right. I have a feeling something important is going to happen when we sleep tonight. Just a hunch. We've queued up a lot of things. Is that Will? Hey, Will. Oh! Here comes Mazora. What do you want, lady? Nice outfits, Come, ladies. Sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Beator. You've heard of such devils. Sisters of justice. Mm. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hell. Great. Just what are you up to? Interesting. I didn't recall sending out invitations to the Sisters of Justice. Please introduce me to your friends. The Duke's been taken. Now what? Interesting. I don't recall sending invitations to the Sisters of Justice. You do not call upon the Sisters. They come when the Hells demand witness. 
Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Mm. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Another contract. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Uh. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Then break it already. Will doesn't need to wait six months. What are you proposing? A life for a life. Great. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Yeah, there's always a cost. What's the choice here? Oh, great. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one. I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Oh, jeez. I Bloody do not Zariel. like this. I won't let her take Will. Thank you. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Save your father, Will. The city will need him to rebuild. Do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. Break the pact, Will. You deserve your freedom. Let your father die. When the city's free, you can take his place. Can you just... Can't you just tell Will to choose on his own? Why do I have to keep choosing and influencing everybody? What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. I don't know. I don't know what I would think Will should do. Let your father die. When the city's free, you can take his place. I don't like that. Save your father, Will. The city will need him to help rebuild. Break the pact, Will. You deserve your freedom. Do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. Do the right thing. Give your soul so the father can live. I mean, I think that's what Cord would do. If it was if it was Gale, he would do the same thing for him. So do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. Save your father. How about this? Save your father. Then we'll kill Mizora like we killed Raphael, and your pact will be null and void. I don't know what the terms of the contract was, but. Yeah, do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. You damned wretch. <clears throat> we'll we'll figure we'll have to figure do out a way out then. of this. Claim my soul for Zariel. Keep my father safe. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. It's a non-choice. ad beator. A non choice. We need to kill Mizora. I hope there's a way we can do that and just end this nonsense. Seems you've got a new mission, pup. Go save your father. He's locked in a very nasty place Gortash's secret command center and prison. Guess we know what we're doing next. Lucky for you, I know the way in. I'll mark your map. 
After all, a deal's a deal. You know what? I think I'll stick around. No. Not for the greater good, you understand. She's gonna hang Just out with for us the entertainment. in the camp. Oh, that was the worst thing ever. Will. Oh, I can't stand that woman. I actually think I... I think I despise her more than Raphael. No, I easily despise her more than Raphael. The gall. The gall of that woman. Twice Mazorus held my feet to the fire, and twice was I burnt. But my father will live. We will return the Grand Duke to his people. And forever a devil's leash will choke me. You did the right thing, the selfless thing. It wasn't much of a sacrifice. You already packed it, right? I wouldn't give up hope. Maybe you'll find another way out. Shin up, Willem. She'll make a great soldier in Zeril's army when you die. I wouldn't give up hope. This is all about Kord. Maybe we'll find another way out. Sometimes, fate closes a door for good. The bolt is fastened, the key is destroyed, and the wish is forever locked away. Yeah, sometimes. But The hells will take my soul. I'll make my peace with it. I have once already, after all. Besides, there's no time to wallow in self-pity. More than anything, I'm elated that there's hope yet for my father. There is that silver lining. We should hurry to this mystery prison and retrieve my father before Mazora tries pulling more tricks. I agree. Let's get going then. We've got a duke to rescue. We're bound to anger Gortash if we go messing in this prison. We don't care. Carr doesn't care. What, since when did he care what any of the dead three like wanted or didn't want your father still got still got a tadpole in his head remember rescuing doesn't mean curing him no we'll work, we'll cross that bridge when you get to it step one rescue the duke let's get going then we've got a duke to rescue this prison's in the lower city let's move well but we need to sleep first raven guard's still infected we can rescue him but we can't cure him we will knock him out if we need to or restrain your skull vibrates in concord with the astral prism Bring me to your duke. I will shield him as I shield you. Thank you, Emperor. Why would you do that? Better to bring him into the fold than to leave you distracted by regret. Thank you. Let's do that before we... Well then, I'm not about to say no. Yeah. Anything more we should discuss? Yeah. Better to do that before we completely overthrow the Emperor or go against his wishes and free Orpheus. So this is probably the right way, the right order of things. Goodness. What a mess. Does anyone have anything to say about any of that? Will sacrificed a great deal for his family. The pact may stand, but the strength of his character is clear. Yeah. It can't have been easy for Will to resign himself to the pact. But I'm glad he chose his father. Yeah, I'm sure you can relate. What about the memories that were taken from you? Most are lost forever. Some may creep back into my mind if I encounter anything that helps clear the fog. Then there's what Shah did restore to me. Memories of pain, suffering, both my own and what I inflicted. It's overwhelming. Like a lifetime's worth of nightmares unleashed all at once upon waking. Wow. I can barely untangle one moment from another, not that I even want to. I can't imagine that. I just know that my heart sinks if I let my thoughts wander to them. Probably best not to. They'll fade with time. They always do. But Shar did that for no other purpose but sheer spite. What about us? Do you still remember all we've been through? Turn to other matters. What about us? Do you still remember all we've been through? Of course. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. I wouldn't surrender even a moment of oh, it. Oh, neither would I, Shadowheart. Sh they'll fade with time. They always do. Perhaps. But in the meanwhile, I'll just have to find a way to live with them. Yeah. Yeah. But you're strong enough to do that. Shar did that for no other purpose but sheer spite. Shah seeks to break people. To fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Yeah, that's really underhanded. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time. 
Ew. Ew. But it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again, no matter how much it hurts. That's the spirit. Turn to other matters. That preening vulture seems intent on haunting our camp. I suppose we shall find out if her kind sleep and how heavily. Mm -hmm. I agree Will with is you. a good man. And that is exactly what his devil will use to bind him. In as many ways as she knows how. Yeah. A man might twist himself into something else just to escape that collar. But I have no such fears for the blade. Okay, great analogies. Minsk. Circled by devils and their dangling temptations. And still, Will Ravenguard chose their righteous path. Will shall not suffer beneath the devil's yoke for long. Mizora thinks herself protected by her paper, but Boo needs no scraps for his bedding. Thanks, I love you so An much. An infernal contract. Sounds nice and cozy, does it not? I love you, Minsk. Oh, another world, Minx, in another universe. How was your reunion with Viconia? Boo is overjoyed with our victory. Another den of evil vanquished, and an old foe defeated. Cool. Well, Viconia was a friend for a short time beforehand, but then a foe once more. And now she's dead. Yes, Boo. A most wicked witch. Yep. Ding dong. The very mention of her name gives him nightmares to this day. Ding dong, the witch is dead. She's gone now, Boo. You don't need to be afraid. Those words are more soothing than the salve Minsk applies to the places the armor chafes. You are a kind and gentle soul. I love you too, Minsk. You hear what our friend says, Boo? The Konya is gone for good this time. Ah, I am sorry, Boo. I will stop up my clumsy mouth and would tear out my hair if any remained. You have plenty in your chest, which is chef's kiss enough. Why is it hard to believe Shadowheart grew up in that place? My old friend Keldorn told me that the righteous must end their rage when the battle is done. But when Minsk thinks of those villains tormenting our gentle Moonwitch, he wants to kick them in the cloisters. That's the spirit. No need for rage. Shadowheart's safe now. Not just safe. She is among friends. Minsk is her friend. You are her friend. And, most important of all, Boo is her friend. That is true. That is true. <laughs> I do not know all of those words, but it is clear that Boo likes Shadowheart best of all. That's A fine. little too much, perhaps. It is good that Minsk is too reasonable to ever become jealous. Yes, and I rem and Boo also likes Gale least of all. I didn't forget that, Boo. It's okay. Nobody's perfect, Boo. Uh, you and Karlek must have a lot in common. <laughs> Indeed. A berserker after my own heart. Though hers is made of hellish heat and metal and some... Manner of coin operated device? Yeah, that too. Don't mock Minx, it's killing her. Gortash sold her to Zeriel. He has a lot to answer for. Jealous? I do not think so. Minsk has always been Minsk. Except for the times he was Stone, or Stone Lord. Just as Karlak has always been Karlak. Even if all her parts were traded for tin and scrap, Minsk thinks this would still be so. Very sweet. And soon, Karlak will still be Karlak. But Karlak will also be cured. I hope for that too. You should tell Karlak you sweet. Oh, yeah. You should tell Karlak you think so highly of her, Minsk. Ha, she knows. A warrior always knows. After all. Do you not see the wicked gleam of wisdom in Minsk and Boo's own eyes? Yes. Yes. I love all these characters so much. Lizel. Chuck. The devil Mizora has made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Ew. 
Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can. Oh yeah, I intend to. I'll just say all my, I'll just start giving my puns, reciting puns to her. I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. Someone ought to tell Will Ravenguard. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. Mm -hmm. Will's father owes him gratitude. I hope his sake, Ravenguard is gracious enough to offer it, given how much it cost. Yeah. Will gave up freedom to save his father. <laughs> I will never understand people like that. Yeah, that's where you and I differ severely, Asterion. We haven't spoken to these two in a while. Isabel, I don't know if you have anything new to say. Keeping very well, I hope? Nothing. All right. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? I'll talk, I'll let her know about Lorokin in a moment. Not now. Not just now. We've got too many things going on right now. Let's not complicate things too much. Oh. Oh. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Or forgot about it. I wanted to come here. To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. And do you feel anything? You've turned from Shar. Doesn't necessarily oblige you to come back here and embrace Salune. Who are you? You mean Junivelle? And do you feel anything? Loss. Actual loss, not Shar's oblivion. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. They're not truly gone. Remember, the moon motes. You did what was necessary. You freed them and yourself. You made your choice. Now you have to live with it. They're not truly gone. Remember, the moon motes. I remember. But they can't comfort me. They can't give me advice. They can't tell me what I was like as a little girl. I know. I know, sweetheart. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet shadow heart. Uh, let's hug. We, I, this game needs more opportunities to hug your characters. Come on now, game. That's it. Let all out. This has been a long time coming. Dry your eyes until we've saved ourselves. Tears are luxury. No, no. Let her. Let let her. Let her have this t moment to feel the loss. Like really, truly feel the loss. It'll heal her in the long run and help her in the long run. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've shed a tear. I don't even know how long. What's next? So, what is it now? Shadowheart or Genevelle? You, you punish yourself enough. Let's head back. What's next? We carry on. It's all we can do. I'll follow in a while. I think I want to stay here a little longer, firstly. This place isn't familiar, but... It's peaceful. So what is it now? Shadowheart or Genevelle? Shadowheart. Mm -hmm. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevelle. Can't just forget her. Mm. It's not what I do anymore. Good. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. You can't cast a shadow without some light. That's a beautiful line! <laughs> ah! Ah, that is a beautiful line! I love it! I love it! Ah! Act 3, man. 
They are really bringing it in Act 3 with these characters. Oh! So good. So good. That's another thing they added in the patch, is they made Karlak more animated. Her idol. Before, she would just stand idly and not really do anything, and now she's more characteristically... Oh my goodness. Really? Really? Can I just stab her? Seriously, can I just stab her? I just want to stab her. Why the stunned face? You look like you've seen a devil. You force Will to make an impossible choice. Will sacrificed his soul for his father. You better fulfill your end of the bargain. You're as cunning as a fox. It's a delight to see you in action. You force Will to make an impossible choice. The pup dug his own hole, darling. I merely supplied the claws. I've always been the giving type, after all. To wit, go to Gortash's secret prison, and I'll help you spring Will's daddy free. Of course, you could always leave him to rot, but that would make Will's sacrifice worthless, and I know you wouldn't want that. What do you have planned for Will now that the pact is certainly sealed? I want to, well, before we do that, I'm I'm not going to save this, but I'm just curious. I'm not going to save this at all, but but I'm just curious. Take that, Mizora. <laughs> Darn it. Just an illusion. She'll come back again. All right. I couldn't resist. Didn't think I was like everybody's here. The entire party is here, including the Night Song and Isabel, and Scratch and Yenna, and Grub. They're all here. Let's just throw everything at. Oh jeez. Now she came back. I have a lot on my mind, and well, yeah. come for a chat. No, I'm just gonna stab you again, and then she's just gonna come back. It's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but we'll get rid of her. We'll get rid of her. Just like we did Raphael. You hear me? I should just put... You know what? I'm just gonna put Cloud of Daggers here. And just hang out. Just let the daggers fly, you know? Sorry, Scratch. I wouldn't go close to that. Scratch! Oh no, Scratch. Scratch. Okay, this is not canon. Scratch, stay away from the... Stay away from the daggers, the cloud of daggers. All right, let's chat with Why Azora. Why stunned face? You look like you've seen a devil. Fox. You force Will to make an impossible choice. The pup dug his own hole, darling. I merely supplied the claws. What a, yeah, I've you're just validating. Giving type. After you're me. just trying to validate yourself. To wit, go to Gortash's secret prison, and I'll help you spring Will's daddy free. Of course, you could always leave him to rot, but that would make Will's sacrifice worthless. Mm -hmm. And I know you wouldn't want that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, you know, I would like some for some other person to rot, though. What do you have planned for Will now that the pack is eternally sealed? You've left Karlak alone. Did you want her, Dad? What changed? Did you want her, Dad? What can you tell me about the hells? You never told me how the absolute cap absolution has captured you. I want you out of here now. If you're going to be staying, I need something in return. What do you have planned for Will now that the pack is eternally sealed? Focus on the Elder Brain. I'd hate to clog that infected head of yours with needless details. I can imagine what this would be like if you were romancing Will, knowing that he was doomed to the hells. There's got to be another way out. Again, I think it might end up resulting, hopefully, in destroying Mizora. I'm sure my infected head has room for a hint, at least. Yeah, friend. Will's a gifted hunter, and Zariel's made her share of enemies in and out of the Hells. 
devils, demons, deserters. They're a great burden on the Lord of the First. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. The clause still holds. As long as Will doesn't tug on my leash, he'll be stalking only the wickedest prey. It's a win-win. Mm. Fine, let's move on. You have the best ideas. You've left Carlac alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. Yo, you're the one who wanted to stick I around. I thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? Boo. My mistress can be so capricious. Boo. You never told me how the absolutionist captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half fiend. Oh, you're only I half fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. Hmm. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. What can you tell me about the Hells? The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How oh, I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. No thanks. No thanks. I want, if you want, if you're going to be staying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times yeah, over. Yeah, and I saved your life. What's I your point? i tell you what. When the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Hmm, how generous. Like I said, I'm the giving type. Yeah, well... I'd like to give you a few cuts of my dagger. I want you out of here now. I'm afraid that's not an option. I'm quite stubborn, you see. Take a swing or a stab if you want. We already did. I'll just slip away for a breather. One of the perks of being a half-devil, of course. Besides, if you did manage a killing blow, I wouldn't be the only victim. Right, so we Young can't just Will kill her. Young Will would be sucked into Avernus. And take up arms in the blood war. Yeah, there has and to be I'm another way around it. Yet. Our future together looks real bright. There's got to be a way around this, too. I can't, I refuse to believe that sacrificing his father is the only way to free him of the, of the pact. There's got to be another way. Okay. How much farther can I go? Okay. So... First things first, Shadowheart, you're gonna take a break. Because you did have really well. Mind. Almost pleasant traveling with company. You look seems like you're in better spirits. If you spirits. ignore all the. If you're sure. I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here. Actually, before I do that, um. I wasn't expecting it, but. I'll... Before you do that, um, Shadowheart, I would like. To get these gloves back. At least for right now. Just for right now. Still breathing, despite everything. All's well, I hope. Aside, if you're sure. I'm sure. Fine. Will. You're up, babe. Always good to talk, my friend. I'd like that. you to join me. Sharp there you are, Will. Nice, nice. So his dex is 13. 
What if I gave him... I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Um... Shop I gave him over. these. Look, his attack all of a sudden went at the ready. up really high. I'm off. Are there other weapons that he can that he can wield? I'm just curious. There's a lot of stuff that he needs to sell too. Look at all those specimens. And Rhapsody, Soulbreaker. Whoa. Uh, gain plus one spell save and attack rolls. When a creature is affected by a spell's failing, it's such a saving throw, we gain one to four hit points. That's pretty good, actually. Although it's a quarter staff. Not the most. <laughs> Dwarven thrower. Oh! That's pretty cool. But he does have Eldritch Blast, so if I really want to shoot things, I'd use my Eldritch Blast. The pride of the gate. I feel like Sword of Life Stealing. That's good enough. Yeah, because if I remove this. Yeah, yeah. That is good for him right now. I've got a long road ahead. Alright. Must be on my way. All right, let's go to town. Face maker. House of Grief is right there. Rescue the Duke is right there. First, let's make a stop over at the Face Maker. Welcome back, friend. The Very good, sir. Yep, I'll take this. The Celestial Sandals, the Elegant Robe, and that's about it. Yep. Now remember, fashion... I think it's time for me to match with everybody else. This is cool. There's like a ship here. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to check this out along the way. Is this a restaurant? I have something to ask. Nesha Lisha. Why does that name sound so familiar? Something over there. Nobody's watching. You didn't see anything, citizen. You saw nothing. Ooh, I already have these. Eh. It's okay. Nothing really anti hag support group poster. My friend dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. Is this the blushing mermaid or something? You make yourself scarce. There's a killer loose and you're a target. Yes. Huh. Come off it, mate. Who would want me dead? That's why her name was familiar. She was one of the proposed victims. I must have missed you someone else. Please listen to me. Others have died already. You're in danger. Oh, shit. You're serious. I can see it in your eyes. I've got... To... Shit. I've got a tap to settle. Shit. Okay, cool. Even though... Rollo is gone and I killed the ball. You can never be sure. Grimbus. This place is jolly good, isn't it? Real sense of the genuine, the authentic. The blushing. This is the blushing mermaid. Oh, that's cool. I like the decor. I love this. Cool. 
Keep bloody wits about you in here. The captain is trying to keep it hush hush. But I heard a kid got nabbed. Oh no, it must be from one of the vampire. If a child is in the stump, they deserve to be nabbed. What happened? Dunno, just heard whispers. But this all kicked off when we started letting just anyone waltz into the city. Some folks have started breaking into places too. Spotted a bunch of misfits sneaking into one of them boarded up houses. Animals. Mm. Lord Gortash will sort all this out. Just you wait. If you say so. Sven. You're going on a date? Are you joking? The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look, skip the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port. All right? She's right. You could leave the city while you have the chance. See? The slightly creepy eavesdropper agrees with me. Mm. I'll sweeten the deal. Come back tonight, and I'll give you the good hammock. Bloody hells. You're like a stray with a bone. <laughs> Fine. But only because it's you asking. I'm not really sure if I did the right thing there, but... We've got rules. I have a date to get to. I'll finish it in my own damn time, thank you. Port is inspired. Playing soon. Playing soon? Nudge Zven to accept Siggy's proposition. Play Sir Varen. If you had to choose the red one, redhead, or the blonde one, redhead. Which should I? Which there, would there, you choose? There isn't even a question. Redhead. Red is the easy choice. You're right. You're so right. Go after the gingers always. Listen. A red ale, please. Oh, never mind. Fine, I guess that's okay too. Ugh. I guess that's okay. Buzzin' Gannon. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or sank you. Got it? Okay, simple rules. What if I really need to use the latrine? Then piss in your cup. Like the rest of us. Yeah. What do you sell here? Use your eyes. Ew. Maybe on second thought, maybe Enjoy I don't. The blush in room. Maybe I don't want to drink anything from here. You know what makes a mermaid blush, right? Want to hear a hot one? The other day, I met some folks who banded together to fight back. Against what, you ask? A big brain. Hags! How stupid can you get? Mm, hags. I've seen the flyers. The captain is gonna belt the heads off these lads if they keep singing. Stick around. It's gonna be quite the show. I can sing a tune, too. Dad, I'm not a cow you can sell on the market. Please, honey. Creditors are clawing at our door. This marriage will save the business. Oh my goodness, Just really? Just meet the Nilsons, son. One meeting. For us. For your family. This is ridiculous. Excuse me, sir. Quick question. Would you marry a stranger so your family can make buckets of gold? Heck no. Heck no. Chords are romantic. Too much romantic. The very notion is disgusting. I don't know about marriage, but I'd meet with him at least. Never. My life is my own. If it meant saving my family, then yes. I was like, I don't know about marriage, but I'd meet with them at least. But at that point, if it's if it's like, no. I don't I, I don't know about marriage, but I'd meet with them at least. See? I'll tell your mother to make arrangements. But dad. Not another word. You'll meet the Nilsson boy, and you're going to love him. Only I if you promise. do. But even if you don't, you don't have to do it. Even if you don't, yeah. The Nielsen boy is a lovely chap. 
good family stock too. This marriage is for the best. You'll see. Sure, Dad. You don't have to say no. I didn't say you had to say no. I didn't say you had to say yes. What I want. Does that not matter? Captain Grizzly? Mm. Hungover. Too bright. Go away. I'm looking for work of the musical variety, preferably. Afraid I've got that covered already, mate. They ain't tuneful, but they are cheap as piss. What services do you offer? Oh, there's drinks are plenty at the bar. Anything else? Well, those days are behind me. Even for one as fine looking as yourself. Oh, I well, thank you. Doesn't a captain need a ship? You're standing in it, smart ass. Or are in it at least. She may not sit on water no more, but she'll always be my ship. That's sweet. Okay. Thanks. You're the captain of this ship, then. Okay. And given Troy. Drunk, unconscious. Has this event of charisma checks. Love it. Well, I want to play music. Let's do. The Queen's High Seas. <laughs> Yay. Love me. Shower me. Love me. You know what makes a murder? Tipplesome patron. You know, Captain Grizzly, she glared at me once, nearly pissed myself. It was amazing. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. The bitch queen road. The blushing maid. Gotta stay sharp in case the captain calls on me. She likes a bit of pearl diving. Spot of keel hauling. Yo, argy bargy if you get me. No, I don't know if I get you. Is that what I think you're talking about? Ain't no better grizzly than captain. I mean, captain than grizzly. Oh, I'm cockeyed. The bitch queen road. Sing for me. This ale is worse than moose piss. But they're out of moose piss, so. I don't know if I was successful or not, but oh well. I'm not allowed to play the piano. Boo. What's in here? Hello. Slog. You pick the best spot in the city for a pint. Blows the prissy elf song out the water. I can tell you that. I don't know. Elf song is more my speed. I like the fancier, cleaner. Bruno and Domicus. Word of advice: Don't open a tab here. I didn't pay for sixteen sea months, and suddenly it's work off your debt or lose a limb. Not a bit of reason on them. Right. Okay. Okay, so the blushing mermaid is it's pretty cool, but yeah. Oh. Oh, don't mind if I do. Does this take me back to the sewers? Probably does. this go Evard's black tentacles 
Potion of Supreme Healing. Mysterian, let's see what they're they're hiding in here. <laughs> Easy. Thank you, Asterion. Is that blood? Never mind. Oh. Auntie protects me. Mask of the Tears. Thank you for making me beautiful. Interesting. There's some evil things in here, it looks like. What the heck is going on in there? All right. Well, hello. Let's save. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like they are hostile. Stepping softly. This feels uncomfortably familiar. Like that hag's den back in the swamp. Oh. Interesting. Is that the anti-hag thing? Oh, it it is. Okay, it's that anti-hag thing. We'll come back. This is something that I want to deal with, but not right now. Just note to self: the hag stuff is back here. It is so trippy in here. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I wonder what they're doing over here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Need to find a way forward. Okay. Yeah, because it says. Help the hag survivors, Barret visit Baron's co-op. Wondering what'll happen if I go in there first and clear out what's down there first. But, note to self. Something's on my mind. Tong Stoneheart. If I'm not swinging a hammer working, I'm swigging a mug here drinking. Merry Fairweather. Are you a Captain Christie fan too? I can't believe she's actually here, or rather inside the Blushing Mermaid. I hope she signs my chapbook. She was okay. Cord wasn't terribly impressed by her. She was okay. Don't you dare puke on your uniform. This uniform's neat, isn't it? But why am I... Oh, wait. I had a shift at the counting house. Oh, yeah, the counting house. Oops. I had a key for that. <laughs> Number nine or something. I'll find out. I'm off the clock, do Carl. Or I would be if it weren't for this blithering idiot. If you've got business at the counting house, it's just down the road. Might as well. If it's just down the road. Yeah, if it's just down there. I might as well go there real quick. Enthusiasts will note the absence of the landlord from this article. Rare book request. Traders have private property. It seems that item is not for sale. View the trader's other wares. Sorry. Case file 846, a crop copy of court recording written in feed. Interesting. It's worth 15. I'm curious what that is. Scroll of Atalooks. The singing lute. Nancy Greta. Back again? I know a reader when I see one. Baldur's Gate versus Flynn Silver. Case for prosecution, Master Silver did, with forethought and without malice, kill William Lister, then Simon Simi Trint, in at their home as part of an ungodly ritual to honor a dead the dead three, or one of the dead three, the gods Bane, Baal, or Merkel. Case for the defense. I don't know nothing sick about the gods. All I know is Bill and Simi were trying to cut me out of an ordeal and they got what they had coming. But those symbols and stuff, and how their guts was arranged, I don't know nothing. Verdict guilty. Death. Commute, commuted to banishment so as not to anger higher powers. What's in here?
There's a counting house. 